This is an instructional video on solving multi-step equations. When we're solving equations, the goal is to get the variable by itself. So what we're going to do for our steps, our first step is to distribute. That means we're going to multiply the parentheses. Then we're going to combine like terms. That are on the same side. Then we're going to combine like terms on opposite sides. And when I say opposite sides, I mean opposite sides of the equal sign. An easy way to remember is to put the variables on the left. And the numbers on the right. And then your last step is to divide. So for this problem, our first step is to distribute. We multiply both sets of parentheses. I can bring down the 5 because I didn't use it. 3 and y make 3y. Three, 3 and 4 make 12. So I bring down the minus. I put my equal sign. 5 and y makes 5y, five, 5 and 2 makes 10, and I bring down the minus y at the end. So now we can start combining like terms. On the left-hand side, I have 5 plus 3y minus 12. 5 and the minus 12 are like terms because they do not have a variable. I bring down the 3y, and I can solve 5 minus 12 is going to give me negative 7. Put down my equal sign, bring down everything else that we did not use, 5y minus y. Now, on the right-hand side, we have 5y plus 10 minus y. The 5y minus y are like terms because they have the same variable. This minus y does not have a number in front of it, but when that happens, we know that it is an understood 1. I bring down the 3y minus 7. I solve 5 minus 1 to get 4, and I bring down the plus 10. Now we have combined all of our like terms that are on the same side. So now, step 3 tells us to combine like terms on opposite sides. My like terms are 3y and 4y. 3y is on the left, 4y is on the right. To combine like terms on opposite sides, we have to do the opposite operation. So we're going to take this 4y and we're going to move it over to the 3y. So instead of 4y, we do the opposite. We do a minus 4y. 3 minus 4 is going to give us a negative 1y. I bring down the minus 7. I bring down the 10. Now my like terms are 7 and 10. Because 7 and 10 are on opposite sides, we do the opposite operation. So instead of a minus 7, we do the opposite, we do a plus 7. Negative 1y is going to equal 17. 10 plus 7 is 17. And then our last step is to divide. 17 divided by the negative 1, we get y equals negative 17. Again, for this problem, we're going to follow our four steps. We start by distributing. We multiply the parentheses. And we bring down everything else. So the 6 comes down. 12 times x is going to give us 12x. 12 times 3 is 36. 
bring down the 7x, the plus 30, and the plus 6x. Now we're combining like terms. I start with the left-hand side. 6 plus 12x plus 36. I can combine the 6 plus 36 because they do not have a variable. 6 plus 36 is going to give me 42. Bring down the 7x plus 30 plus 6x. Now we can solve the right-hand side. 7x plus 30 plus 6x. 7x and 6x are like terms because they both have the same variable. 7 plus 6 is going to give me 13. And I bring down that plus 30. Now when we combine like terms, you should notice that they're on opposite sides. 12x and 13x are on opposite sides. So we're going to take the 13 and move it over. But when we do the opposite sides, we have to do the opposite operation. So instead of 12 and 13, we do a minus 13. 12 minus 13 is negative 1. I bring down the plus 42. I bring down the 30. Still combining like terms, 42 and 30 are on opposite sides. So we do the opposite operation. Instead of plus 42, we do the opposite. We do a minus 42. 30 minus 42 is negative 12. And my last step is to divide. Negative 12 divided by negative 1 is going to give me a positive 12. X equals 12. Again, for this problem, we're going to follow our four steps, starting with the distributive property. We multiply the parentheses. Now, this one, we have a minus sign. There's actually a 1 next to it. It's actually a negative 1. And so we distribute that negative 1 into our parentheses. I can bring down that 5. 1 third times 6 is 2. 1 third times 9 is 3. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x. Negative 1 times, we're going to consider this a negative 4. We take that minus and use it as a negative sign. Negative 1 times negative 4 is going to make it a positive 4. Now, combining like terms, on the left-hand side, I can combine the 5 and the 3 because they do not have a variable. 5 plus 3 is 8. There are no like terms to combine on the right-hand side. Negative 1x and 4 are not like terms. So we can go straight into combining like terms on opposite sides. 2x is on the left, negative 1x is on the right. To move the negative 1x over to the opposite side, we do the opposite operation. We do a plus 1x. 2 plus 1 is going to give us 3. We bring down the plus 8. We bring down the 4. Still combining like terms, 8 is on the left, 4 is on the right. So we, meet, we move it over. We do the opposite of plus 8. We do a minus 8. 3x equals... 4 minus 8 is negative 4. And our last step is to divide. Negative 4 divided by 3, which gives us a big long decimal. If you ever get a long decimal, just turn it into a fraction and you would get negative 4 over 3. Again, we're going to start by distributing. We multiply our parentheses. On this first side, there are no parentheses, so we just bring it all down. 14 plus 5 over 7x minus 20. When we distribute, 4 times 1 7th is 4 over 7x. 4 minus 1 is going to give us a minus 4. Combining like terms, on the left-hand side, we can combine the 14 minus 20, because they do not have a variable. 14 minus 20 is going to give us a negative 6, or excuse me, a minus 6. There are no like terms to combine on the right-hand side because 4 over 7x and negative 4 are not like terms. So we can go straight into combining like terms on opposite sides. 5 over 7x is on the left, 4 over 7x is on the right. 
So when we move over to the left hand side, we move to the opposite side, we do the opposite and do a minus 4 over 7x. 5 over 7 minus 4 over 7 is going to give me 1 over 7. I bring down the minus 6. We bring down, we keep that as a negative 4. We bring that down as a negative 4. Still combining like terms on opposite sides. Instead of a minus 6, we do the opposite. We do a positive 6. Negative 4 plus 6 is going to give me a positive 2. And our last step is to divide. 2 divided by 1 over 7 is going to give me 14. x equals 14. For this problem, we start by distributing our 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 40 is going to give me 10. 1 fourth times 8 is going to give me a minus 2x. And we bring down the 19x, the plus 2, and the minus 5x. When we're combining like terms, there are no like terms on the left-hand side. 10 and 2x are not like terms. So we move over to the right-hand side. 19x minus 5x are like terms because they have the same variable. 19 minus 5 is going to give me 14x. Once we've combined like terms on the same side, we can start combining the like terms on opposite sides. 2x and 14x are on opposite sides, so we do the opposite of 14x, we do a minus 14x. I'm going to bring down that 10. Now, when we're solving this problem, we treat this as a negative 2x minus 14x. Negative 2 minus 14 is negative 16x. and we can bring down the positive two on the other side. Still combining like terms, 10 is on the left, two is on the right. So to move it on the opposite side, we do the opposite of 10, we do a minus 10. I can bring down the negative 16x, two minus 10 is negative eight. And our last step is to divide. We divide by negative 16. Negative 8 divided by negative 16 is going to give us 1 half. X equals 1 half. Our first step is to always distribute and multiply our parentheses. Bring down the 5X plus 12 minus 7X. Negative 3 times 5 is going to give us negative 15. Negative 3 times 8 is going to give us a negative 24. Combining like terms on the left-hand side, negative 5x minus 7x are like terms because they have the same variable. Negative 5 minus 7 is going to give us a negative 12x. We bring down the plus 12. We bring down the equals negative 15x minus 24. The right-hand side does not have any like terms because 15x and 24 do not have the same variable. So we can go straight into combining like terms on opposite sides. 12x and 15x both have the same variable, but they're on opposite sides, so we do the opposite operation. Instead of this negative 15x, we do a plus 15x. Negative 12 plus 15 is going to give us 3. I bring down that plus 12. We bring down a negative 24. Keep that minus sign as a negative sign, negative 24. Still combining like terms, 12 and 24 are on opposite sides. 12 is on the left, 24 is on the right. So we do the opposite operation. Instead of plus 12, we do the opposite. We do a minus 12. We bring down that 3x. Negative 12, or excuse me, negative 24 minus 12 is going to give us negative 36. And our last step is to divide. We divide by 3. Negative 36 divided by 3 is negative 12. x equals negative 12. For this problem, our first step is to always distribute and multiply those parentheses. We can bring down that 6. 
as it's by itself. 8 and x gives us 8x. Eight, 8 and 1 gives us 8. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. When we go into combining like terms, we can look at the left-hand side. 6 minus 8 are like terms because they do not have a variable. We bring down the 8x. 6 minus 8 is going to give us a negative 2. We bring down the 6x plus 8. There are no like terms on the right-hand side because 6x and 8 do not have a variable in common. So we can go into combining like terms on opposite sides. 8x and 6x are on opposite sides. And so we're going to move the 6x over. To move them to the opposite side, we do the opposite of 6x. We do a minus 6x. 8 minus 6 is going to give us 2. Bring down the minus 2, bring down the positive 8. Still combining like terms, 2 and 8 are on opposite sides, so we do the opposite operation. Instead of minus 2, we do the opposite, we do a plus 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. And our last step when we have only two numbers left is to divide. We're going to divide by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. x equals 5. For this problem, we start by distributing and we multiply our parentheses. 2 thirds times 3 is going to give us 2, so that's a 2x. Two, 2 thirds times 6 is going to give us 4. We do not have any like terms on the left-hand side because 2x and 4 do not have a common variable. We do not have any like terms on the right-hand side because 4x and 3 do not have a common variable. So we go straight into step number 3, which is to combine like terms on the opposite sides. 2x and 4x are on opposite sides, so we do the opposite operation. Instead of 4x, we do a minus 4x. 2 minus 4 is negative 2, negative 2x. We bring down the plus 4, we bring down the positive 3. 4 and 3 are on opposite sides, so again, we do the opposite operation. Instead of plus 4, we do a minus 4. I bring down the negative 2x, 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Our last step is to divide by negative 2. Negative 1 divided by negative 2 is going to give us a positive 1 half. Two negatives gives us a positive. x equals 1 half. The problem reads, the two rectangles shown below have the same perimeter. Write and solve an equation to find the value of x. Then find the measures of the length and the width of rectangle B. All measures are in inches. So when we're doing perimeter, perimeter means to add all the sides. So for rectangle A, we know that they're going to match on either side. And so for rectangle A, we can write the perimeter as 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 5. We can add up all the edges. For rectangle B, we know that we're going to have the same on both sides. And so again, we can add up all the edges. We can add up x plus 4x minus 3 plus x plus 4x minus 3. There are other ways you could set up this problem. You could set it up with parentheses. You could set it up already combining your like terms. There's lots of methods. Either of the methods that you chose will still get you the same answer. So combining like terms, because I don't have any parentheses in the way I set up my problem, starting with the left-hand side, all of these numbers are like terms because none of them have a variable. So 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 5 is going to give me 24. And I bring down the other side, x plus 4x minus 3 plus x plus 4x minus 3. 
Now, looking at the second side, the right-hand side, I know that these x's that don't have anything in front of them have a 1. It's an, represented by an understood 1. And I can combine all the like terms that have an x value. So 1x plus 4x plus 1x plus 4x. 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 4 is going to give me 10x. We can also combine both minus 3s. Negative 3 and negative 3, minus 3, minus 3 are going to give us a minus 6. Now that we've combined all of our like terms on the same side, we can combine like terms on opposite sides. My like terms are 24 and the minus 6. 24 is on the left, minus 6 is on the right. So we do the opposite operation. Instead of minus 6, we do the opposite. We do a plus 6. 24 plus 6 is going to give me 30. We bring down the 10x. Our last step is to divide, and we're going to divide by 10. 30 divided by 10 is 3 x equals 3. That answers the first question where it says write and solve an equation. The second part of the problem tells us to find the measures of the length and width of rectangle B. So for rectangle B, our two edges here are 3 because they represent the x value. We got x equals 3. For the top and the bottom, 4x minus 3, we're going to plug in our answer that we got. Instead of x, we write our answer 3. 4 times 3 minus 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 3 is going to give us 9. The top and the bottom sections are going to give us 9. The width is 3 inches. The length is 9 inches.